Venus is in Virgo, the moon is new and in Leo, and we're on the verge of Mercury's retrograde in Virgo as we get ready to start this brand new week, Cancer. You might ask what all that means for you and your week ahead, and you know I'm here to tell you, okay? So if you're curious about what this week ahead's astrology and tarot insights are, then you're in the right place, Cancer. Make sure you are tapped in below. Leave me a little residue of your energy on my thumbs up button to help me better connect with your energy and deliver resonating messages for you, Cancer. Um, if you're watching in the live chat, say hey to me. I'll say hey back, all right? If you're missing the live premiere and watching this on replay, make sure that you're subscribed and your notification bell is turned on, okay? I'm here every Sunday at 3.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, all right? Giving you what you need before you start your week, all right? So I promise you do not want to miss out. If you ever, ever wanted to connect with me um, one-on-one, cancer or get a super 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 personalized um reading done by me make sure that you hit this link um that i drop right here or you can check out my website bossladybtarot.com to make that happen all right anybody that's wanting to take advantage of this astrological energy at your fingertips right now cancer and manifest your desired financial reality can do so um can do exactly that all right by joining my Lionsgate manifestation workshop i'll drop the link right here it's going to be a good one that you won't want to miss cancer you can find out more information about it like i said at that link it's going to be down in the description box below and comment section as well all right but so now for the astrology of the week i told y'all before the moon is new today and it's in the sign of leo this is an extremely important event for us cancers as we are not only um, moon rule but this has a big impact on our finances as does this mercury retrograde that we're on the heels of so i've taken the liberty to go into much greater detail about these transits the effects that they'll have on us and how to best manage during this time and i'll drop the links to those readings here in the eye and down in the comment section below so that you can access them easily cancer all right go to them when you need them throughout this transit throughout the transits because these are very very important very 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 important transits that we are experiencing right now okay outside of those main events starting off our week though later down in the week on the 7th, um, the sun, which is right now in the sign of Leo, will sextile Jupiter. That's in the sign of Gemini, which is a really, really, really great thing, Cancer, all right? I discussed this briefly in the new moon reading, um, and I stressed how important it was to take advantage of this very, very optimistic aspect and sweet energy that it brings um, that is going to help you attract good things into your life, all right? So this is the very, very best time to go after your dreams with the promise of achieving things with little to no effort okay this is right before the Lionsgate portal so this is like double the magic cancer I'm telling you take advantage all right and if you want to know all the tea about how to take advantage you better make sure you're signed up for my Lionsgate portal workshop that's happening um tomorrow August the 5th okay um but on that same day on the 7th of Mercury um, the 7th of Mercury, the 7th of August, Mercury that is um, going to be, it will be in retrograde at that point in the sign of Virgo is going to conjunct Venus that's in the same, um, sign of Virgo as well. This is a really, really good day, Cancer, to take care of any type of business, um, do any type of business, focus on, you know, making deals, signing contracts, investing in stocks and um, getting people like on board with your vision to join forces for the greater good. Um, because, you know, this is going to be a really, really good time where you are very practical and very level headed. Um, and so that's going to be a really good time to take advantage of doing those things. Anything around business will be really great on the 7th. Okay. As you already know, we do have this Lion Gate portal um, opening on double infinity, which is August 8th. Okay. Ow sorry y'all another transit that deserves its own separate video where we can dive deeper into what that means for us specifically cancer so make sure that your notification bell is turned on so you're notified when i drop that reading for you that video in a few okay um then also what's happening this week on the 9th we have the asteroid of marriage which is juno it's going to be moving into the loving and romantic sign of libra um and it's very happy there okay 
it's feeling nice and cozy and comfy. So this is a great time to seek balance in your partnerships, Cancer. All right, from all the way from business partnerships to romantic partnerships and everywhere in between. All right, so find the balance in your relationships. That's it's gonna find it's gonna force you to. Okay, um, but yeah, Cancer, that's astrology for the week ahead. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the astrology but we're gonna get into the cards and get um some deeper insights around this energy for our upcoming week august the 5th through august the 11th all right we're gonna tap into the energy see the vibes for cancer see what messages show up from spirit so that we can be better than prepared for the week ahead ain't that right because this was a this is an interesting week a lot going on cancer a lot going on, okay? But we're going to look at the overall energy, overall. All right, so look. <laughs> um, uncovering treasure wanted to pop out right here. And I am, I'm, I'm going to uh, finish calling out my card. But I am picking up a message in here just because that gold really, like, caught my eye. Um, beneath the surface lies great bounty. And I feel like, you know, it's like taking a double look at something or looking deeper into something. And especially with the retrograde happening, Cancer, where it's a time for you to kind of slow down and review things and to look deeper into something. I feel like you're going to uncover, all right? Uncover some answer or uncover a treasure and it may be um material in in format but it may also be spiritual which is just as pri more than priceless okay um i feel like when i talked about the mercury retrograde um there was an unlocking that showed up so there were answers and unlocking that were showing up here is confirmation that that's happening and i feel like what you find is a treasure it's like and it may not look like it at first sight it may not seem like it at first sight. You have to kind of um, go deeper into it, right? Um, uncover. It's kind of like pull the covers back. Um, and yeah, like I'm definitely um, getting kind of deja vu with that Mercury retrograde reading because the gift showed up too. So it's kind of like this is going to be something that I feel like you're going to enjoy. But I'm going to finish calling what I'm asking for. We're going to see the overall energy or theme for the week ahead of august 5th through the 11th for cancer and so look desert passage that was a car at the bottom of the deck when that um other car that pulled, popped out and as i shuffle again i was like man i didn't even tell y'all that but here it is showing up so it's supposed to all right so desert passage here it says trust there's a divine plan all right so and that's what i'm feeling like definitely just piggybacking on the message that was showing it showing up in the uncovering treasure it's like you know in the desert you don't see nothing it's just every Everything looks the same you don't know when you're gonna get to your destination it's almost like being out at sea and all you see is water there's no land in sight um, but trust that the way that you're floating the way that you're flowing is the way that you're needing to go okay there is a divine plan at play and remember, I've been talking about divine timing as far as your accomplishments and things that you desire, okay? So, um, yeah, let's see. I'm going to read the additional message for this desert passage because I feel like Cancer, um, before we even get into that, I feel like, you know, just again, like this passage, You we've been talking about you being on your path, you know, going... Um, going you know making sure that you're on your right path and so you know there may not be any tangible proof or confirmation that you feel like you're on your right path but you just have to trust that there is a plan at hand you have to also trust that there's a plan at hand with whatever comes up um you know throughout your week know that you know this this retrograde is here to bring up some things for you to review okay the new moon is here to start new beginnings for you so um trust that everything is working in tandem in your life all right there the additional message here says that even if it seems that life has areas of barness beneath the surface life is transforming in accordance with your highest good trust that you are guided even if it doesn't always seem like it there are spiritual gods allies and angels surrounding you listen with your heart act on your instincts believe the messages that you are being given in, um that are in your highest good okay get down to the basics and trust what you feel cancer the desert path can seem like a vast wasteland yet it is in the isolation that immense insights and intuition can emerge okay 
Think about it. You don't got nothing but yourself and spirit to connect with when you're in a desert. Like, you know, sometimes you have to go through the wilderness to kind of get some insights or answers, some clarity, okay? Um, it says, in times of old, in times of old, sages and visionaries retreated into the de desert to connect more deeply with spirit, okay? If in the past you trusted your instincts and then later it seemed to be a mistake, do not let that keep you from trusting your intuition now. Often those things that we thought were mistakes in the past, in hindsight, were the best things possible for us. So as you open up your intuition, you will send some messages from, and, um, from the loving presence of your spirit guides and ancestors. There is a potent plan for the rest of your life. Trust. Trust that. Trust that. Believe that. Have patience in the plan unfolding to cancer. But I definitely feel this is a time where you're meant to kind of connect with your spiritual team, cancer, your spirit guides, your ancestor spirit. Um, through prayer, meditation, it even showed up in the Mercury retrograde where you may want to connect with an astrologer, a psychic, um, a spiritual advisor, someone that can help you uncode and decode these messages that you're getting in your intuition because I feel like it's on fire right now, Cancer. You're getting you're getting insights about um, about this journey that you're taking, okay? And the journey is now. Do I want to... So I want to keep this deck. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and just use this one. We'll look at the major challenge for cancer for this upcoming week, August the 5th through the 11th. What's the challenge for cancer to overcome? What is the challenge? So impasse. So look, reflect and redirect your energy. It's time to reflect. It's time to reflect. And I feel like, you know, it's like you have to find your place of coolness, water. You have to find this place of tranquility, even in the desert. Even if you're in the hot, even if your circumstances and, you know, take it how it resonates um, to your circumstances. But it can feel like you're in the hot seat, in the desert. You know, you're out here in the sand. There's nowhere, like you don't know. And so you're needing water. You're parched, right? You're at an impasse where it's time for you. It's really time for you to kind of sit back and reflect, um, reorganize your priorities, reconfigure your dreams and your aspirations. But I feel like with this rejuvenating rain cancer, you're a water sign. You need water. It's like a fish out of water. You need the water. And I feel like you can, you may not have water in the desert, but you can be in a place of water in your mind right in your perception that can make you feel as though you have water in the desert the mind is really crazy like you can make the mind believe anything that you want it to believe cancer and i feel like why not take that energy and do so okay but you're at an impasse the, the challenge is that you're at this impasse and it could feel like you're blocked or you know where you're having to make some type of turn left or right right um and this impasse is just coming i feel like this is that mercury retrograde energy just coming in and kind of slowing things down and making you uh, take a microscopic look into what's going on, paying attention to the details. Look, clearing the past and healing the present happens with this rejuvenating rain. So I feel like you're at an impasse with your past self too. You know, you're at an um, impasse where there's it, it's a time for certain things to be healed and um, healed. You know, a truth of yours to be kind of ex um, exposed to yourself or revealed to yourself. Some type of revelation around that. Um, but this impulse impasse could be a little um, frustrating, you know, because it's like, you know, I'm going ahead, I'm getting ahead, but then I get to this place where it's like there's a blockage, but that blockage is there just to get you to pay attention to something, okay? And so listen to your um, instincts. That's what I'm telling you. Pay attention to the messages that you're receiving because it's going to give you the, um, the answers, the clarity to redirect you, okay? Let's see what the advice is for the week. Uh-oh. That's too many. Well, grounding was on top of all of those cards, though. And I feel like this is a great time to tell you to remind, to remind yourself to stay grounded no matter where you are, whether you're in the desert, okay, whether you're... Um, at this wall and you're trying to get over it or around it stay calm ground yourself i feel like connecting it's going to be very important to ground yourself make sure that you're grounded because you're getting so much information and insight intuitively you're going to need to make sure that you are um in a place where you're able to receive it okay 
But the advice for cancer for this upcoming week, what cancer needs to know, keep in mind how to handle this challenge. So gates of triumph. Okay, look, success expands in your life. And I do, I love that the um word expand is used here because definitely it's going back to the the astrology that I was talking about with Jupiter and Gemini, um, sextiling the sun and Leo. Like thing is set to expand. It's a really good day. Um, that's a really good time this week thing. And I feel like the triumph is kind of like the, you know, I've overcome. You know, and so the gates are open. It's like where you've been on that passage, you know, finally, finally you get to this place where it's like it's giving breakthrough, okay? Where you may have felt some type of block, the the boulder, and it seems as though you can't get, get around it, go over this wall. It's like there's a break that just happens for you. It's giving me like uh, Moses split the um red sea kind of vibe that's what it's kind of giving okay um uh, but yeah the gates of triumph here success is expanding in your life so this is what you need to know you need to hold that in your mind hold that as true expect that okay so no matter what you see or don't see know that success is expanding in your life Okay, it's going to come to a place of triumph where you're able to come to get this completion. All right, I don't know why this had flipped over over here, but it's over here with, okay, look, first light in this uncovering treasure that has showed up early too. So look, you are on the brink of beginning a new cycle. There's that new moon energy birth, right? But I feel like spirit is telling you to look beneath your surface as well too. Stay in focus was here at the bottom of the deck. Hold the course, Okay. Hold the course. It may be hot. It may be unbearable. Hold the course. Even when you get to a place where you feel like, all right, I've run into a dead end. It's not really a dead end. You just, we're, it's the time to reflect and, and re, re, uh, realign, revitalize. And this may be the time where you're wanting to connect with your spirit guides or get in contact with a spiritual advisor from some sort, however you choose to do so, um, to kind of help you reflect and redirect your energy, right? to give you the insight on what to kind of stay focused on. And I feel like that's what's going to open up this um, this triumph. And this triumph kind of makes me feel like it's like, um, it, it's giving me like tears of joy. I, I actually want to, hey Siri, divine triumph. Um, so it's a now, a great victory. Oh, hey Siri, divine triumph. She was still listening to me. Okay, so it's a great victory um, or achievement, right? The pro it keeps going, but so right, that's what I'm saying, and that definitely showed up, Cancer, where we were doing, where we were talking about your achievements, right? Um, and so there may have been some type of delay around your achievement, but if you keep in mind that um, it's going to be a triumph, where it's like you're achieving some type of victory, it's successful, okay? And it's very, it's highly successful when it's a triumph. You think of triumph um, when you think of like war or battles with kings and, you know, things of that nature. And so it's like, you know, you may have won the battle, um, but you didn't win the war or however it is, whatever the, that's what it's given. Where you win the whole thing and there may have been some times where you felt like you were losing or things weren't going the way that you needed to. But you're starting a whole new cycle where you, you are the winner, Okay period let's look at the outcome potential outcome of the upcoming week ahead all right so look transformation had popped out and i love that because transformation show up um like it's been a word that's been following us as a as a kind of like a theme it's just a yeah transformation is happening and it's giving phoenix riding from the ashes a fresh new way of living emerges so like after this week the way that you live life the way that you think the way that you talk the way that all of that i feel as though there's going to be a major change with that because you surrender to the journey okay so release your control around what's happening and know that there is a divine plan you may can't see all the answers you may not have all the answers but you want to surrender to the journey cancer because that's what's going to fully transform you okay this is given with this surrender to the journey um it's given very much hermit vibes so i feel i feel like you know for some of you it could be a physical journey but it's very much spiritual it's very much um 
tapping into your subconscious okay it's giving very much that um but surrendering to the journey and just knowing that everything that's happening or not happening is for your best benefit and you have to truly truly believe that cancer i want to see actually what does cancer need to know about this impasse I'm seeing that other deck too. So let me hold on. What is what does Cancer need to know about this impasse this week? That's the challenge. Okay, look, the two of swords tried to show up right there too, and then justice here. And so I do feel like um it is a it's it's kind of a time for you to recalibrate and find the balance. You may also need to kind of balance your energy. So, like I'm saying, meditation is gonna be important. Anything that can kind of help balance your mood. But also, too, it's like don't be don't get stuck in a place where you're trying to act like there's nothing wrong or it's like you just get to this impasse and you're like, OK, well, I'll give up. I forget it. Yeah, no, not on my watch. Not this one. OK, what does cancer need to know about this impasse? All right, look, we got an ace of cups. All right, look, the Ace of Cups here could be something new happening in regards to uh, a new emotional endeavor, romantic even, for sure, with this being the Ace of Cups Cancer. Page of Wands is here at the bottom of the deck. So there could be something definitely that comes in, something I feel like is really good news that comes in that kind of redirect, like changes the whole course of your like life cancer this week because yeah we're talking about this transformation there's something that's changing in regards to a new emotional experience you know the ace of cups can definitely um represent a new relationship cancer it can also um represent like a new like feeling of something you know this could be where you're connected to something where your heart is in it you're content you know you love it however um i also kind of read the ace of cups right here as a wish too that's what I'm feeling like. Like, it's almost like, you know, I'm, you're being presented with the wish of Ace of Cups. But I feel like, yeah, some of you may re be re redirecting your energy or needing to find the balance with your energy. Because you may be a person that's been super single. You've just been kind of worried about yourself. And now you have another person in a romantic relationship that you have to kind of consider. Vice versa, you could be like a new parent. However, it's resonating for you, Cancer. But I just feel like, you know... Even at this impasse, you know, you may be seeing it as something negative, but it's something to gain, like, from it, okay? A little more insight on this impasse for cancer. I just caught 2222, as I said that. I don't know why. I, so, yeah, y'all, believe in the synchronicities, because I think the last reading, the one I had caught was, like, 444, so... Let me know what synchronicities y'all been seeing. But look, and that's what I was talking about, this hermit. That's the energy, the vibe, Virgo energy, okay? So it makes sense. This Virgo, all that's happening in the sign of Virgo right now, it's meant to kind of... Um, you know, slow you down to, to turn you inward, okay? Find your answers within your own insight, um, you know, or connect with uh, someone who is wise in that sense that can help you uncover those answers, right? I feel like, yeah, there may be some things with the Four of Pentacles showing up here too. There may be some things beneath the surface that need to be revealed, okay? I don't know why this is going to be random, but someone may have been thinking about going to like online therapy, Cause yeah, it's giving me like she's looking into. It feels like she like flipping up a laptop. But even here too. But um, that's I just got that word too. It's like she's looking into something. Okay, looking deeper into it. Like I'm not just taking it at face value or whatever it is on the outside. Like I'm I'm doing more. I'm doing more digging. It's like you know if you went up to a building. If you went up to um to the mall and the doors was locked and closed. But the mall's supposed to be open. You might kind of go around to another door and be like, okay, well, I'm expecting it to be open. So maybe it's just this door. Maybe there's something wrong with it. You're going to go to another door and try to like open it and see it. That's what, that's what I feel like spirit is calling you to do this week. It's like dig deeper into something just because you didn't get the initial reaction that you may have been thinking or whatever. Um, it's like, don't just take it. For face value, definitely dive deeper into things this week, Cancer. What is this fresh new energy? Fresh new energy, fresh new way of living. Look, the Queen of Cups, the Empress is showing up. So this is Cancer, your energy again. I love that. I feel like definitely this is a, um, this is you. I feel like Spirit is handing you something that you're going to be able to cherish in this Ace of Cups. Because it's like here, she's kind of like, um, you know, looking. Also, again, looking into it. 
she's giving the vibe that she's looking into this cup or looking into what's being given you know checking out all the details around it this is the queen of cups vibe but i feel like again cancer this is just confirming that this is you getting ready to start a new cycle okay a new way of living okay this is this feminine energy with the empress showing up i feel like this is confirmation too of um abundance abundance in areas you know that this is that success showing up where it transform you i'm getting to like somebody may change something about your wardrobe you may change something about your wardrobe um this week or think about that on just like a minuscule scale uh I was about to say, I don't really... So this Queen of Swords wants to slide out. And I feel like this is the opposite. I feel like this, I'm getting very much deja vu from, I feel like this is a Mercury retrograde reading that I did. And the opposite, it was like the King of Cups and the King of Swords showed up. And here is the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Cups is like the feminine energy, the reverse of, um, and like I said, that, you know, this retrograde is happening this week. So definitely just kind of having that balance between emotion and logic cancer. I feel like it's going to be important. That's what I'm seeing here. But also the queen of queen of swords is someone who uh, has, I feel like gets answers, you know, um, intelligence kind of. So there could be something, you know, where you're changing. You could also be a person that where you were like super serious or even had like a super serious job or something. But more so now you're moving into something that's more nurturing or more like so creative. That's what I'm picking up, too. It's like your roles could be changing. Like you literally are changing cancer. Like, that's just what it is to it. The King of Pentacles wanted to slide out right there, but um, some of you could be connected to this King of Pentacles. But I'm actually going to pull some additional messages from a different um, deck. Look, we got forgiveness that showed up at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be finding yourself needing to forgive or needing forgiveness in your connections. So just be mindful of that. But let's see some additional insight for the week ahead. What does Cancer need to know about this upcoming week, August 5th through the 11th? Spirit. Uh-oh. All right. So um, we got decision. And look, completion here at the bottom of the deck. I feel like this decision is at this impasse, okay? There's some kind of decision that will need to be made, whether this is a job, a business, or love. Don't delay making a decision. Um, waiting for the perfect time, you'll end up missing out, okay? So I feel like, yeah, you may be deciding on something new and i'm not telling you to rush and take it um but it is like what i was saying when that two of swords energy showed up you could be a person that's just like you you keep analyzing or nitpicking the situation and it's like or you could just be trying to act like there's no issue at all kind of avoiding it all together and you know spirit is like look the time is now okay the time is now completion is showing up here at the bottom of the deck which i love again because i feel like it's just confirmation that you are about to accomplish something cancer and you're going to reach some type of completion in regards to your um old life an old way of viewing things an old position whatever it is you're getting ready to start the new challenge the next challenge okay be proud of everything that you have lived through all right look for the good and all the look for the good in the bad in the in the seemingly bad that's what i'm saying look into things like really look into things all right it's like, you know, if you don't see any opportunity around you too, it's like make your own opportunity, manifest your own opportunity. Or if you don't see what you need around you, you know, manifest it for yourself. What else does Cancer need to know about this upcoming week Ooh. ahead? More insight. So we got, ooh, rivalry showing up here. So you will encounter competition that will force you to stay ahead of the game, Cancer. Remember, they are not your enemies. Let it make you stronger and transform envy to healthy motivation. So there could be someone that is coming into your life, Cancer, that is going that can that you can use to kind of help um you motivate you to kind of get things done to complete things that can help you make some type of decision okay so don't even get upset with this person when they come in <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me y'all and see oh 
they may be trying to be funny. This person don't want me to tell you about it, okay? Because they could, they could already be planning to come in. They may not even know, okay? They may just be a work of the enemy. But I feel like they're trying. They could be trying to come in and, um, you know, cause uncertainty around you or just throw you off your game. You want to be mindful, okay? This could be a person that you reach at this impasse too. You could be needing to decide whether this is a person that you want to keep in your life or not, okay? Um. So, yeah, just be mindful of that. But again, you know, there's nothing to kind of fear here. They are not your, they are not competition. You know, you only compete with yourself becoming your best self, but it's just to make you better, right? I'm going to pull one more. Persevere, okay, on this passage, Cancer. Um, and so, look, we got Soul Tribe showing up. Forgiveness popped up here again. So, yeah. And I feel like you could be, look, um, and forgiveness is not about you and the other person. Um, the other person, it's about you. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to welcome this person back into your life. But the forgiveness could definitely be healing and allow you to kind of move forward, okay? Um, Soul Tribe says that if you've been feeling isolated or a few connections in the world, cheer up because you're about to find soul companions and form true soul connections, which will be built on trust and love for some of you i feel like you could be um like really connecting with your soulmate here this week you know soul tribe soulmate soul vibes yeah it's given that um cancer you know and where people may have been against you or not on your side you know just as soon as you have that experience it's like the next experience is like you're blessed with double for it you're blessed with someone who is supportive that um you know that you can trust um that you can kind of lean on to look changes here at the bottom of the deck know that um it says i understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement nothing you want things to change but then you don't want anything to change you know because sometimes like we'll be so unhappy and really be wanting our life to change but the moment things start changing we get uncomfortable and be like, ah, i can't what's going on da, 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 da. yeah i'm talking about you when you feel like it's a twister or whatever okay but um i feel like that's what's happening too you know like think about in the desert like a windstorm come in and it just like blow all this sand around and it just puts it in a different place you know it's just like pick pick you up and put you in a different place it's giving twister okay is that a movie that's out right now it might be but it's like movement is happening you want to keep moving towards the goal okay keep moving towards the goal take the detours as they come cancer i feel like that's going to be very important but keep moving okay death and rebirth is showing up okay so that means endings and beginnings definitely being confirmed here what a final message for cancers for this upcoming week. A message for cancers, August 5th through the 11th. Final message for the week for cancer. I had knocked that card down, y'all. Okay, well, that one just fell out. But look, so fear. Fear is showing up, Cancer. It says that I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Love is the highest vibration of them all. And I feel like fear is leaving the body. What is it? What is that? Um, It's something like they say. It may be complaining. It's nothing but fear leaving the body or something. There's some type of um, quote or something with that is nothing but fear leaving the body. And I feel like that's what's happening. You may be afraid to move forward. Um, but this is the time, the week to realize that you can find that success. You can reach the gates of triumph. Don't be afraid. Even when things come up that make you feel like, okay, maybe I'm, I went the wrong way or, and you know, you get frustrated and you feel like you got to start all the way over again. No, this is the, this is definitely the time to be in. Look, there was an emphasis on love, emotion, can't like this is your this is your lane cancer this is you this is what you want to focus on you see how um there's a, a an abundance of loving emotion contentment happiness in this ace of cups cancer okay um someone definitely could be having a new baby because the ace of cups um 
could definitely mean that or um, a new proposal or a new marriage or whatever. It's like, but you focus on the things that really matter, okay? Um, and that's what I feel like is definitely a message for you, you know, because we've been talking about the material, we've been talking about the finances and all that, but you want to focus on the things that really hold deep value, priceless value. And I feel like that's what spirit is saying, you know, kind of make that decision. Um, and you could be kind of deciding to live um, life that way, deciding to not live a life of fear, but making decisions out of love. You know, you would be surprised how many decisions you really do make out of fear. Like if you if we really sat down and thought about it and like broke it all down, like you would be surprised how many decisions you make out of fear. Um, but we're, we're going to shift that. We're going to shift our, our mindset and our emotions and we are going to make decisions out of love, move in love, the highest vibration of them all. Focus the focus is on love cancer okay but that's been your week ahead cancer your reading for the week ahead i really do hope that it resonates for you you found it helpful you guys if you're in the chat you've been in the chat with me thank you so much um talk to me down in the comments if you're watching this on replay like i said make sure you're subscribed and your notification bell is turned on so you don't miss when i pop up you know because i'm random like that okay so just Make sure you tuned in. Make sure you're a part of the Vibe Tribe. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, inside all that good stuff, personal readings, you can find me at my website, bossladybtarot.com. In the meantime, in between time, until next time, I love you.